She only barks a little bit, but there's some new people here right now, so she'll warm up. Hey, I'm Jeremy Cohen. I'm a photographer and artist, and welcome to my Bushwick apartment. All right, so right when we walk in, here's the entryway where you could find my bikes and other modes of transportation. One of my favorite things about living in New York City is that you could get anywhere on wheels, uh, like bikes and skateboards or hoverboards, whatever you use. I like to personally, this is my favorite thing to ride, which is just a simple bicycle. It's a, it's a single speed. And my other favorite thing is this electronic moped, which is a Super 73 when I'm feeling a little lazier and don't want to get any exercise. Um, also, you could fit someone on the back, which is really fun. And then I also have just my standard skateboard, cruiser board, which I like to cruise around the neighborhood with. And then my trusty boosted board, which can get me to point A to point B really fast. So yeah, I love being able to get around the city on these things. And now we're onto the kitchen. And my favorite thing about this kitchen is this island right here where I can cut up veggies or I could just eat standing up here or over there. It's nice when I have friends over, we could all kind of gather around this table and drink together, eat together, play cards. Uh, it's just fun. So it's a simple thing, but I love this part of my apartment. I like to collect things. And one of my favorite things to collect when I travel is magnets. So for the last like four or five years or so, any new place I travel to, I try to remember to get a magnet. And yeah, so this is my collection of magnets and it's always a fun talking piece when I have friends over. And uh, yeah, I think my favorite one is probably Miami. <laughs> so that's always fun. Also Kansas City, which is based on, what is that What is that movie? Yellow Brick Road, Dorothy, what's the? The da, Wizard da, 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 da. of Oz. Wizard of Oz, yeah. I think Is this from the Wizard of Oz? Wait, maybe I have that totally wrong. This I is, think so, yeah. yeah, Wizard of Oz. Okay, cool. I just think it looks cool. I also I have a collection of hot sauce. I'm a big hot sauce enthusiast. So right here, as you can see here, I have uh, some of the hottest hot sauce, which I don't actually enjoy. It's just like fun to do with friends if you just want to feel something. So this is the hot sauce from, from that TV show, Hot Ones. So I had to get that as well as some other really hot ones. You can even see it in the label. It just looks hot. And do you, I mean, do you guys want to try some right now? And then this is one of my favorite lights in here, which is a pizza light. I got this when I was in Texas like a couple years ago. And then I have this digital picture frame from Aura. Uh, speaking of pizza, there's a photo of me right now in a pizza blanket, which I have. It's a weighted pizza blanket. Um, and I, I have like 500 photos in the app for this and it just scrolls through them. I didn't realize this until just now, but I have a lot of pizza related things right now. So up here, let me come around here. Up here, which I don't think I'll ever drink because it's just a prized possession of mine, but uh, over the summer, I did this thing where I carried 42 pizzas. And then Don Julio just DM'd me on Instagram and they asked me for my address. I thought they were just gonna send me a bottle, which is cool because I love Don Julio. But it turns out they engraved this into the bottle and they sent it to me because it's uh, Don Julio 1942 and I was carrying 42 pizzas. They, yeah, they, they made this, so I thought that was really cool of them. And I don't think I'm ever gonna drink this, it's just gonna be on display. Maybe I will one day, we'll see. And now moving from the kitchen to the living room. And first up are these custom shelves that my friend Theo built me, which I love because they display my books and my cameras really well. I collect different art books and cameras as well from over the years. I've been into photography for 10 years and originally I was in film photography. So when I would travel on road trips or whatever, there's always antique stores with really cheap cameras that are just so cool. Most of them don't work, but they're fun to look at. And then I have a collection of books from cooking books to photography books to art books to just books that I like the stories that they tell in the books. Uh, some of my favorites are this book by Action Bronson, or I'm a big fan of Honey, Humans in New York. It inspires a lot of my portrait photography work. Also, I have these bobbleheads. I, I collect bobbleheads too, I don't have that many, but the ones I do have I love, whether it's Jason Kidd, or Allen Iverson, or Michael Jordan, 
or Shaq on LSU, Ichiro, Alfred Hitchcock, and Sigmund Freud. And then there's Obama over there too. <laughs> Funny story about this couch is I had the same exact couch a couple months ago and I loved it so much, but it was like getting a little dirty. I've had it for six years. I've tried to get like the beer stains or whatever out of the couch and I couldn't get it out, but I loved it so much. So I found the same exact couch that was brand new, pretty much brand new on Facebook Marketplace. So I recently got rid of that couch and then bought the same exact couch, which is this couch, which just looks, it's just a newer version of it. And my favorite part about it is that it fits in this space perfectly, but also it provides some extra storage under here. Where's it from? It's, it's just a classic Ikea couch. It's a, uh, yeah, it's an Ikea couch. Is this the one with the like pull out bed or? Yeah, so not only does it have storage under here, which is where I keep a lot of blankets and other miscellaneous things. This is actually my pizza weighted blanket that I mentioned earlier. This, this blanket has to be like 50 pounds. It's like a workout just to wear it. I mean, also now I'm really comfortable. Can we, uh, can we pause this video for a quick nap? All right, in the corner here, you can see that I have a tree, which you may not notice at first glance, but it's actually a fake tree. And I love plants. Like I have a lot of plants in my room over here, but I also have a couple fake plants because at first I put all my plants here and they got cooked by the sun and they would die very quickly. But I love this, air, like this area. I just wanted some greenery as well as here. So I decided to get some fake plants. When I'm chilling on my couch, I'm either watching a film, watching YouTube videos, or watching a game. I love sports, especially basketball. Go 76ers. Uh, and then up here, you can see a photo. This, this is actually, this is probably my favorite photo I've ever taken, which is a photo I took in Union Square about four years ago, five years ago, maybe that long ago, where I was just hanging out in Union Square and all of a sudden I noticed this like seven-year-old kid playing this, one of these guys, I think his name is Big John, who's like a chess guy there, who's always playing chess. And these guys, I, as far as I know, they usually beat anyone who challenges them, but this kid beat Big John. And a bunch of people started to stand around the table, as you could see, they started to gain interest, and the kid won like a couple of games against him. And it was just an amazing New York moment, and I captured that. This is the other corner of my apartment. It gets a lot of amazing natural light. Um, and this is the most empty space in my apartment right here. So this is where sometimes I like to bring out the yoga mat and do some downward dog. I didn't know I'd be doing yoga in this video, but here we are. I don't do yoga that often, but my roommate who recently moved in does it a lot, so I've been doing a lot of yoga lately with him, and this is the spot we like to do it in. This is my dog. I'm sorry I uh, haven't introduced her yet to you, but this is my dog, Dory. She uh, is just waking up from a nap, as you can see, and really likes this corner as well because it gets a lot of sunlight. You know, how, you know how dogs like the sunlight. Hey, Dory. Yeah, she's really kind and snuggly, and she only barks a little bit, but there's some new people here right now, so she'll warm up. Moving over to the window, here is my chess table. Over the last couple of years, I've gotten really into chess. I play against my dad online almost every day. My roommate and I play all the time. It's just like a brilliant game, and it's a great way to exercise your mind. So play a lot of chess, and whether it's on the phone or in person, I just have it ready to go. Welcome to my deck, where this is a view of Brooklyn, and this is also where, I don't know if you're familiar with my quarantine cutie video, but this is where it all happened, right here. It's a modern day love story going viral this morning. This one involves drones, dinner for two over FaceTime, and of course, keeping the proper social distance through it all. And right now, I have my hammock set up. This is optimal for napping or reading a book. If you put a pillow here, it's like the perfect, uh, perfect structure for your body. And the sun shines in here really nice, so it's just a good place to relax. And now for my favorite part of my apartment, the bathroom. 
It's actually not my favorite part. It's just pretty standard bathroom besides my bidet. I'm a big bidet guy. I think every toilet in America should have a bidet, but I don't know why there's so much stigma behind bidets. So if I didn't mention already, I have a roommate and this is his room. Francis, uh, can I show them your room really quick? Cool. Welcome. <laughs> so yeah, Francis is in here working. Uh, he actually has one of my photos hung up right there, which if you're interested to buy any of my photos, I sell them on www.darkroom.tech. And this is one of the images you could buy. And now for my bedroom. Welcome to my bedroom. Here are a couple things that I love the most in my room. First up, this cloud light, which is made by a local artist that goes by Richard Clarkson, Richard Clarkson Studio. And there's a light bulb in there, so you can't really tell now because it's daylight, but it really lights up the room nice. Here's my collection of house plants that I don't know if this is because I'm a Virgo and I like things very organized, but I specifically made these so it kind of looks like, you know, stairs. It's like tallest to shortest except this one kind of grew taller than this one recently and I haven't switched it yet, whoops. And then over here is actually a painting I did. So every once in a while I like to paint and this is a painting that I did probably like six or seven years ago now. But I just love the way it pops and I love having it hang in my room. Here I have a tweet, a framed tweet from the company is called Frame Tweets and I have this tweet frame from Soldier Boy that says, in this world you either crank that Soldier Boy or it cranks you which is something I really believe in. So that's why I hung it up on my wall. And this is my chair, which is really good for your posture. It keeps my posture in check as well. I just, I just think it looks cool and it fits under my desk really nice. But um, yeah, it's, it's from Venn Designs. They're great. If you want a chair like this, check it out. Uh, the only bad thing about it is I've started a YouTube channel recently and I'm filming a lot of my videos from this chair and I get excited about the things I'm talking about. So I end up just like bouncing on it a lot while I'm talking about it. And yeah, I need to work on that. <laughs> this is the corner of my room. This is where I get a lot of my work done. I don't have enough space in my apartment for an office. So I usually work out of the corner of my bedroom, but it's really nice because I have windows on either side of the corner. And it's just, I like working from this spot. And on this wall here is my wall of Polaroids and Instax and it's just filled with memories and moments with friends and I love my friends and this is an ode to them. There's also a couple moments with celebrities. Sometimes I have celebrity photo shoots and one of the things I love doing is uh, if the moment feels right and it feels appropriate, I'll take a Polaroid of them and I'll ask them to sign it. So <laughs> that's what happened here with Miley when I had a photo shoot with Miley. I took this Polaroid of Lil Dicky in 2014. It was like his first or second show ever, uh, which is really cool. Big fan of Little Dicky. All right, so that wraps up my apartment tour. I'm really grateful to be living here in New York at this apartment. And transparently, we pay $3,000 a month to live here. That includes utilities and everything. And that also includes the roof deck, which is one of my favorite things to do where I hang out in the summer a lot. And we also have a gym in the basement that barely anyone goes to. So it feels like a private gym. So even though this apartment is really small, it gets a lot of natural light. I love how each bedroom is on opposite sides of the apartment, which is huge and not a lot of apartments I think have that. So what's your favorite local spot in the area? My favorite local spot is actually very local because it's practically across the street and it's this coffee shop called Dweebs. All right, so I was gonna show you my favorite coffee shop, which is Dweebs right here, but it closes at 3 p.m. and it's actually like almost four. So I'm gonna show you my next favorite spot. All right, just got a pie from OMG Pizza. Check it out. Woo! That's a pretty pie. So yeah, by the way, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you like my apartment tour. If you wanna see more of my stuff, you could check out my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. But most importantly, I just started a YouTube channel myself and would appreciate any new subs. So check that out. I'm posting a video once every two weeks and the link is here. She's really kind and snuggly and she only barks a little bit, but there's some new people here right now, so she'll warm up. <laughs>